The portal is glowing purple and we have a two times void shard event going on. This is my favorite shard event in the entire game. Plus, there is a 10 times chance for you to pull Cardiel during this event. That is my favorite champion in the entire game. So I don't know that it could get any better than this. I am Colred. This is Colred Plays. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder, tomorrow is my Takeover Tuesday live stream where I give away free account takeovers to members of my Discord community. I go live at 1 p.m. Eastern time. While you're here, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and consider joining that Discord community. Okay, so if you watch my channel at all, you know that two times Void Shard events are my favorite event in the game. And I think as a free-to-play player, for the first year, year and a half, this is really the best opportunity to get a game-changing champ. First of all, there are tons of great Void Epics that you can pull, but there are also some really powerful Void Legendary champions. Maybe 25 of which would just transform your account. One is a champion that transformed my account. That is actually this guy right here, Cardiel, who is the 10 times champion for this event. Now, I pulled this champion about four months into my main account. He was my first Void Legendary I got from a shard, and then I didn't pull another one for over a year. So sometimes that first Void Legendary can be incredibly influential in your account's progression. Now, when I got Cardiel, I built him right away. He's been the best champion on my roster for probably the life of my account, although there are a couple of new contenders in the last six months or so. But for at least two years, he was easily the most powerful champion on my account. If you're not familiar with him, first of all, you start with the aura, all battle aura of 19% speed. Fantastic aura. The defining characteristic of his, uh, of his kit could be the A3 because he's got one of the best ally attacks in the game. The only other real contender so far is Lady Bikage. But this gives you an increased crit rate and increased crit damage buff for two turns, and then it's an all ally attack. Now, this is on a four turn cooldown, but if the skill kills the target, then you will get a cooldown reduction of one. Now, actually, it doesn't even matter if it's the target. It could be any enemy that's killed, that's going to give you that cooldown reduction. Now, the other defining aspect of his kit, it's cool when a legendary has two incredibly powerful skills is this a2 where you have a removes all debuffs from all allies so full team cleanse plus a full team block debuffs plus a full team revive on death that goes on for two turns and the revive on death cannot be removed this is on a three turn cooldown so this is probably the best cleanse in the game there are only a few champions who have a full team cleanse with a full team block debuffs this throws that revive on death that can't be removed on top of that. And again, on a three turn cooldown. So if you need a cleanser, this guy's got you covered. Now his A1 is his only attack, but this has a passive that heals all allies by 7.5% of their max HP. And this will also place a true fear on any target that is demon spawn, undead, or knight's revenant. Now that is the only skill that actually requires accuracy in his kit. So I usually don't bother with that. However, remember that that heal is also part of the ally attack because that is his attack so when he uses his ally attack he's going to use this heal now he does have a passive which is kind of nice allies receive 25 20 percent less damage from champions from the demon spawn undead or knight's revenants faction so this is really usable in certain places like in arena um if you come up against a siffy and rotos he can be really good if you come up against a duchess he can be really good um or like a lord shazar he can be really good so at any Time you have a tricky demon spawn or undead or knight's revenant champion in arena, he can provide this extra level of coverage. Also, whenever an ally attacks, he has a 15% chance to team up with them and join their attack. Remember, he's going to give that heal and potentially that fear on his A1. And if you have Sissy of Flame Tongue, and I do have her, they're a great duo, he will be guaranteed to join any of her attacks. So all of her attacks get an extra hit with a heal on top of it. So really powerful champion. I hope you pull him today if you don't have him. I'm a little bit worried because I'm pulling shards today and I don't know what I would do with a dupe Cardiel. Um, he's not necessarily a champion that you need multiple copies of, although I wouldn't say no. Could definitely plus one my Cardiel. Why not make my most powerful champion even more powerful? Okay, so let's take a look at why we are pulling shards today. So other than the two times event, we do have a tournament that is going on for 
the Serpent Titan event. Now, there's a whole bunch of layers to this. I'm not really a fan of what they've done here. So they're giving us a champion chase tournament. So one player out of, uh, is it 100? I don't even know if it's 100. One player out of 100 who wins this tournament is going to get a very nice soul. It's going to be a six-star perfect soul for Ninja, which is incredible. But I feel like they just gave us Ninja for free. They should give everybody some souls for free. Maybe they will have another event down the road where we can get like two star or four star souls or something for Ninja. If this is the only Ninja soul that we're going to get access to, that's just frustrating because that's not really enough, right? For a free champion, more people should get souls. Now, I do need the 200 uh, points here for the Titan event because I'm also going for my Mithrala soul. I want the five star soul. There are 1,750 points available for the Titan event. So let's take a look here. And as you can see, so you need 1,500 to get the five-star soul. I have already skipped. Well, I haven't skipped any yet. I haven't skipped any yet, but I am likely not going to get the 200 from the Deck of Fate. So the Deck of Fate here has 200 points. Typically... You know, for these, you have to clear most of the board, if not all of the board, to get the 200 points. So that means I can only skip 50 points. And so I have to do this champion chase. Now, it is a champion chase. So be aware of that. It is not just a shard pulling event. You can get champions from anywhere. You can get them from the shop. You can get them from campaign. You can also pull them out of uh, the portal if you have fragment champions from Doom Tower. Or for instance, I still have the Packmaster. I haven't yet pulled him. I will be going for this second legendary tome, I hope. If I can get close with my shards, that'd be great. And then maybe I'll pull uh, a couple extra champions if I need. To. But that's the way it stands. So we are going to be pulling shards right now. A lot of pop-ups today. A lot of pop-ups. Pop so, all right, I have 41 void shards. I am not into Mercy. This will not get me into Mercy, but I am getting close. So I haven't been tracking my Mercy counter as much as I would like. I'm probably about 140 shards in. So this would get me to about 180 if I miss, and then I'd be entering the uh, Mercy for the next time around. Three of my Void Legendaries came from a Mercy pull. So that's kind of unfortunate, uh, but that's the way it's been going. So as far as... You know, the legendaries are concerned. Yumiko would be the big, big win for me. She is absolutely the champion that I've been dreaming of. But certainly like a Krisk or a Siffy or um, a Rio Bone Spur would be awesome. There are a lot of Void Legendaries out there I still need. I'd hope to get not another duplicate. I've already pulled duplicate, two duplicates. And as a free-to-play player, you don't get that many Void Legendaries. So I really hope not to get another duplicate. However, I will say there are a lot of good Void Epics that I could pull. Uh, Genbo and probably Skrank and maybe a Kemptum top my list, um, but certainly any damage dealer especially would be really nice. All right, that's it. I've got the space here, so I'm just going to do the one pull, the warm up. Let's see if we get lucky right away. That'd be nice, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, Whisper. So I can empower my Whisper. I actually just took Whisper to six stars. She's already a plus one, so this will be plus two, which is nice to get that five extra speed at the plus two. So not a bad start. Here we go. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've seen gold on void charts. Come on. Let's let's start it off with a bang. Don't blue tax me. All right. We've got a Beardell Fellhammer. Not even worth a plus one. That's a four-star chicken. Bellower is an excellent rare, but I don't need a tenth copy of him. A couple of tree shield knots there, another excellent rare. So some good rares there, but nothing that I need. I'd love to see it. You know, we need points, right? So we want to see epics, even if they're not great epics, they give us points for that champion chase. So we're up to three epics total. That's not too bad. But come on, we want to see gold. We want to see gold today. All right, fourth epic. Golden Reaper is nice. Actually, maybe worth an empowerment there. Same thing with Basher. Both of those are pretty good arena epics. I don't really use either one, but who knows? In the future, I might. All right, we're into our third 10 pull here. There's another Ursula. That's a nice. I could definitely plus one my Ursula. That's my second copy of Ursula. I do use Ursula quite a bit. I actually like her. And there's Skrank. That's nice. That's going to be, uh, I think that's going to be a plus two Skrank or a plus three Skrank now. So that's pretty solid. All right, last 10 pull. 
Let's see, Gold. Come on. <laughs> you save up 41 shards over six weeks just hoping for something. And then, you know, you go through that event four, five, six times before you hit. Come on. Come on. Don't blue tax me to close this out. Give me something. Give me something to get excited about. Come on. There we go. Uh, at least we got an epic. At least we got some points there. A couple of pain keepers. Um, I don't need, I have three pain keepers built. I don't need another pain keeper, a paragon. Um, okay. <sighs> a little bit deflated. A little bit deflated. I did get some champions worth empowering, so that's not too bad. Let's see how we ended up in the points. We're going to be nowhere near the ninja, by the way, and you know I'm not going to buy any more shards. So we did, in fact, get all our points. We're 1,100 points away from that legendary tome. I don't see that happening. We didn't pull quite enough epics to really go after that legendary tome because I'd need to get 1,100 points, about 1,000 points. If I pull my Packmaster, I'm 500 points away. And then I would have to finish it out probably with Ancient Shards, I guess. For right now, I'm just going to take my points. I will think about this for the rest of the weekend. There's still two and a half days. I don't want to overextend. Um, I like pulling my... Fragment champions during CVCs. We're actually only a few days away from a CVC, and it should be a PR CVC. Um, so, yeah, I might want to save my Packmaster for that for that event. But anyway, okay, so that's where I stand today. <sighs> that's it for now, I guess. Let me know in the comments below. How did you do? Did you pull your void charts today? Did you hit on a Sifi? Did you hit on that ten times Cardiel? I want to hear those stories definitely. Also, if you're like me and you basically missed and didn't hit anything, go ahead and put that in the comments as well. And I will commiserate with you because it happens to all of us, even as content creators. Uh, but I'm getting closer to Mercy. So I should be maybe six weeks away from my new Void Legendary, my next new Void Legendary. Okay, that is it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out. I have been Colred, and I will see you in another video soon.